Hello and welcome back to the 2009 Chase for the Scrub Cup. So two races down, eight remain. We go on to Kansas today for the third race, and here is what the standings are looking like. So after Dover, David Reagan took back over the points lead. Regan Smith staying in second. We have moved our way up into third. AJ Omendinger up two spots in fourth. Kyle Petty has came all the way from 12th to 5th. Marcus Ambrose also up five spots in sixth. The biggest losers from Dover, Reed Sorensen back six spots, Clint Boyer back five spots, and of course Dario, he has taken over the last spot in 12th. It's only two races down, we still got a lot to go. So we're only sitting 21 points back. I think we still have a great chance at it. Once again, you never know where some of these guys are gonna run. So far after the first two races, it's definitely been really back and forth between some of the guys running mid-pack to the front. Like, honestly, some all these guys could be running anywhere throughout the entire field. The only thing we can control is go out there and, and run good ourselves. So we're going to try to do that here today. Here we go out to qualify in Kansas. Once again, I'll be surprised if I don't qual... Holy shit. <laughs> I'll be surprised if I don't qualify in 43rd, but you got to try, right? One of these weeks, I'll uh, one of these races, I'll just stop trying to qualify. <laughs> but, uh, hey... A little bit of extra practice here. We'll throw it in a hot lap or two. Let's see where we come out. I think we got this thing handling pretty good. I'm, I'm running it a bit more down for us. So, I mean, it's it's pretty stout throughout the corners. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about the straightaway speed, however. Right, right? Here we go. Don't hold I don't know. We usually don't have a lot of straightaway speed anyways. Man, it's a little slippery on the straightaways. But, yeah, this thing's really fast through the corners. At least it feels that way. I, you don't really... I, I could probably hold it wide open, honestly, if I tried hard enough. If I... Yeah, let's, let's see here. Oh, man, it might... Oh, no, it starts shoving right there in the last second. Yeah, it looked out a little bit. But yeah, this thing's... Mm, it's pretty strong. I, 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 the straightaway speed's probably going to hurt us. One more time wow. <laughs> it, like, lagged for a second, and it looked like I was first after I crossed the line. And then it swapped over to 43. <laughs> this game got my ass. One of these weeks... I swear to God, I'm gonna out-qualify just one person. That's all I want. This is really like the opposite of NASCAR Thunder 2004, man. Can't qualify worth a damn in this game. All right, we'll see here. This is gonna be the money last. Oh, not if I drift on the straightaways. Yeah, I do. All right, here we go. Man, this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun restart right here. Oh boy, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of time. Hopefully we don't have a lot of restarts. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That was a lot better than I thought it would be. We're already checking up. So we've got 66 laps today to get her done. Or to get, well, when I say er, I mean, um, well, I don't know what that is yet. What is this? Hey, Bobby. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to intimidate your ass. No, I ain't. I, you know, I... <laughs> Now I know why the, the intimidate button doesn't work so much, because Patrick Carpentier isn't very intimidating. That's what it is. Yeah. It's like I'm not even there. Oh, more rivals now. Oh, four wide. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. Grip to the corners. We've got the downforce. Oh, but look at that. Oh, he's pulling right back on the... Oh, boy. This is going to be like a pack race, man. It's like barely out, out of the throttle. And you're just right back on it. It's going to be hard to separate from anybody. Man, I don't even get a chance to look. I don't know who that is. I'm going to guess that's probably David Rudiman behind me. And then we got a couple of guys up here. Reed Sorensen and Marcus Ambrose. A couple of Scrub Cup competitors. One of, these, one of these guys had a really good run at Dover. One of these guys didn't. If you watch the last episode, Reed Sorensen... Could have been better. Marcus Ambrose had a great run, though. He got up, like, five spots. And he's running six in the Scrub Cup points battle. So, if you don't mind, good lord, this thing is so slow in the straightaways. Like, it's even hard to duck out, because I just, like, I, I, it's like I hit a brick wall almost. But, man, this thing is... It's so fast through the corners. I felt like it... Oh, man, it's so tight, too. Good, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I squeeze everybody there. Oh, there's that one knucklehead who ran last in New Hampshire. That's okay. I don't feel so bad anymore. Oh, man. Note to self. Never run the outside line ever again. 
Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, I thought it was clear. I'm... Yeah, that's a good thing you moved left, because that would have been death. All right, well, 33rd, it could be worse. But to be fair, though, man, we got us a nice little pack racing going on. And look at that! A Scrub Cup competitor, Clint Boyer. Oh, that's right. He does have that four-and-a-half-star rating on the intermediate tracks. I was going to say, honestly, I think the favorite product for the Scrub Cup might be Clint Boyer, because a lot of this chase is is Mod Haas. That's kind of a shitty, shitty chase format. What we got? Like, uh, is Landis still in there? I don't think so. At least we got, I know we got Texas, Kansas, Charlotte. So, this might benefit Clint Boyer. A four and a half intermediate rating, and then everything else is just three stars. So, of course, we'll go to Martinsville. Oh, can't forget about Homestead, Miami, too. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. He's got to put the whole race together, though. We're on lap six to 66. Let's get this one over with. Hey, look at this, man. It's almost like NASCAR 15, but a, con a more controlled NASCAR 15. Look at who is this? AJ Allmendinger or Vickers? That's Vickers. Running around there. He's floating there for a minute. I don't need tires. Dude, this thing's so good through the corners. Just wish it wasn't a turd bucket on the straightaways. Oh, man. That's the only problem with it, though, is that it's, I don't know, it's very line sensitive almost. It, it feels like if you don't hit it right, man, it's just going straight. What the hell are we doing? Go by Kyle Petty. You don't check up for Kyle Petty. I love how that giant icon sticks out from my teammate. Like, hey, you're near me now. Hello. What's up, Casey Kane? I'm coming for you, buddy. Yeah, you're looking real strong. You shouldn't say anything. I'm about to stuff it right in the damn. Oh! 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 Hold on! Thanks, asshole! You're looking real strong out there, buddy! I just flipped Martin Shrex Jr.'s ass over. Now I'm destroyed. Thanks! But shoved it in the wall. And I got turned almost twice. Oh, I just killed it. You're looking real strong out there, buddy. You got turned twice. <laughs> Once I got going the other way, man, I knew that wasn't gonna be pretty. At least I'm still running. Can I even? I don't even know if I can DNF. I've now found out. Yeah, I'm getting some pits. We're gonna have to fix. I mean, the ass end looks okay. At least we got one half of the car going for us there. Nobody's getting some pits. We're we're probably gonna have some flappy part problem cautions here. Oh boy. All right. Add fuel. I kind of want to loosen it up, but I also really don't. Yeah, just all tires and damage. This is gonna be a long pit stop. Everybody get some popcorn and some snacks and, and, a, and a beverage. I might as well run and go get myself something to eat while we wait. Hey, that was only like 23 seconds. Cool. Man, you guys didn't bother fixing the hood? Do I even have a splitter anymore? It doesn't look like it. I don't think I have a splitter anymore. Oh my tires! Oh, how do? Oh, you and the we're good. I don't think I have a splitter anymore. That's that's gonna cause some minor downforce problems. But I mean, it's not like we had any downforce before. Once again, we're driving this turd bucket that's like somehow two stars worse than everybody, at least. Hey, look at that! Somebody told me I could turn on the ticker in one of my comment sections. I appreciate you. I found it. Oh, there's our flappy part problem caution. Cool. Well, that's great. I don't have a splitter anymore. I, no, I think it's it. It's. <laughs> if my splitter is in there, it's not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> it looked like it was kind of in there, but it was like really like crunched up. It might be there. Either way, it, yeah, it's not where it's supposed to be, and it's not doing what it's supposed to do, so. Um, oh, there it went. Oh, that should have cut, like, eight tires right there. All right, we went ahead and stayed out. Nobody else got some pits. There we go. Just go straight. Go straight. You can't really touch the analog stick on the starts. The problem with it, though, is that the trial, you got to turn a little bit, and that's not fun. Man, that ticker goes quick. Quicker than what my car is going at the moment. That's crazy. Something something so simple like that is just really, really helpful. I appreciate that, NASCAR 09. Why can't NASCAR Heat have that? 
Like, that's really nice. I really appreciate being able to know where everybody at, where, where everybody's at in the field. That's really great. Especially for something like this. This makes this a, a whole ton a lot easier. I don't know who you are. I can't remember who you were, but I remember reading it, and I really appreciate that comment. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> All right. Well, and it's always going to, man, I really hope we don't got to make a, like a, a late race restart. So we were going to be screwed. Kind of like Dover, but Dover wasn't too bad. We had great track position. Uh, yeah, if it ever comes down to a late race restart, like we're in the lead or, or battling for the lead, like it ain't happening. It ain't happening. I feel like I'm, I'm, I can feel I'll lock it down for us. I wish there was a way. I don't. I've hit just about every single button on this controller. I don't think there's a way to pull up my damage report on my car. I like to see how bad my car is. Obviously, I know it ain't good. That's whatever. We'll just drive it. I'm kind of pissed at myself. I don't even know what happens. I was, I was coming to that corner, and man, it just, I thought I was going to shove it in the wall, and I guess I was just already turning because trying to put it not in the wall. And I went right into Kevin Harvick. Here we go. Yeah, I might, I might loosen this damn thing up, man. Woo, where's the heifer in turn four? At the end of the day, it's really my spotter's fault. He's talking me up and jinxed me. Yeah, it is definitely not quite as man. It felt pretty fast. It's definitely not quite as fast as it was. I somehow lost more straightaway speed, I think. And it still feels tighter. I'm, <laughs> I'm missing a little bit of downforce. I don't have a splitter. But jokes on everybody. If I manage to pass you without having a splitter, you gotta just retire. All right, all right. All right, listen here, buddy. Wow, you're not you're not intimidated by Patrick Carpentier either. You should be. Fuck out of here, man! It's great being able to turn people. You block, you get dumped. Look at this. I was on the apron trying to get around your stomach. <laughs> get get dumped. I tried to call you a dumbass and a stupid ass all at the same time. I don't even know what I said, but that's what you is. Look at that. Clear on the apron. Oh. Like, who are you? What 69 car? Get out of here. Well, I wonder if I come back down pit road, they'll give me a... Maybe that would give them enough time to go cut the splitter off the backup car, come over here, tape it on. Just anything. Anything to help me. Damn, no, no new splitter. All right. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, my God. Man, that's some stupid shit. What I need to do is just lean it up against the wall when I restart. Yeah, it would really help to have like the the sensitive triggers like the Xbox 360 has, because this is just like 100% or 0%. So every t <laughs> that was a real smart call there having that. All right. Either way, we're back up to speed. I'll loosen this thing up, and it already feels better. And, oh man, that feels like way better. It's almost like I got my splitter back. And I got fresh tires. I mean, we're already on lap 29. Good lord, we're getting through this one. We've had our fair share of cautions. Well, I mean, we only had three, I guess. So. I've had worse. Oh yeah, dude, this thing is hooked up now. Oh, it's right, right. <laughs> yeah. Right there around that white line. Here we come. It's way faster. Now if our car just wasn't broken, man. Right, it took me a minute, but we finally caught this this dude. We're coming. I just it always takes a good couple laps to get back up to speed and, and catch everybody after this the restart. Oh Alright, buddy. Oh man, there went the lack of downforce. Yeah, that's probably quicker to just bounce it off the wall, keep on going. That's it's better, but man, sometimes it still just goes straight. Turn four, man. It's like there's a, like a big old gust of wind pointed in the wrong direction. In turn four. There you go. We made a pass. Only up from here. Well, JJ Ailey, he is uh, he is second in the chase for the Scrub Cup. Second to last, that is. Uh, he's about to be second to last on track too. Give me a hold. Hold on a second. Oh, we checked up. There it is. All right, JJ. Sorry, buddy, but it has to be done. Oh, look at this. Not blocking me anymore, huh? Glad you learned your lesson, Kroger. All right. David Rudiman. 
You gonna block? It looked like it. Nah, nope. There you go. There we go. Three wide, three scrub cup competitors. David Rudiman, Reed Sorensen, and of course us. Then we got Dario up here. There we go. Just like, man, we, we haven't had the smoothest race, but we're back to what we were doing before. We're a little bit slower, but we're starting to pick back through these guys. Feels good, man. Every race is going to be really important. So once again, we're still we're still in that 50-point hole. Man, look at that shot we gave to Jeff Burton. Look at his pass to Jimmy Johnson without a splitter. Yeah! Why is Jimmy Johnson so slow? And why are we friends with Brian Vickers and Kevin Harvin? Cool. It's nice having friends that still block me. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, I really want to sneak it off in there. And just give you a shot. Oh, and I didn't want to... I don't know what the hell we're gonna do here. I ain't going through the middle. Nope, 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 back. Fuck. I just wanna to go to the bottom, damn it. There. That's so difficult. There it is, Nyom. Easy to turn a little bit too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Ha! <laughs> There's Carl. He still don't like me from Dover. Sorry, Carl. Carl Edwards has been ass, and he has run pretty much in the 30s. All the scrub cup chase so far. Oh, barely there. There we go. We got it. Man, I think, mm, yeah, it's hooking up in the corners. I thought it was hooking up before we wrecked. But honestly, it does feel a little bit better through the corners, I think. What the, what the, we're friends. What are you doing? Move over. Oh, cars heading down pit road. Interesting. I don't know why that's interesting, but this, what is that? Brian Vickers with the Penske boost down the straightaway. At least this way, I think. I mean, we'll we'll probably get to lead a lap since I guess we got a bit more fuel than anybody. Everybody. The real question is, can we make it to the end from here? I don't think we can, but there's a chance, I guess. Probably not, but this definitely sets up some stuff to where, you know, maybe we could just, you know, run two tires or run, you know, you know, half fuel or something. Okay, Look at Vickers' John right by me. They get random speed boosts when people come down pit road. I don't know why. Now, the only problem with this, though, is, is that these guys are going to have the tire advantage now, and I'm already pretty slow, but uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that, Juan Pablo Montoya. Look at these guys, what do they have? What the shit? Oh my, they are like 100 mile an hour quicker than me. What the hell? How are they that much quicker? I want some of what they got. I did take over the lead, so we should get five bonus points for leading the lap, I guess. So that's nice. Man, Dario flying by my ass. I'm getting freight train. I'm probably not gonna be able to stay out here for very long. I mean, I'm only 26 seconds ahead. It's gonna take probably at least 26 seconds to pit my damn car. Halfway on fuel. All right, well, I'm gonna take a guess, a wild guess and say I'm not gonna be able to make it to the end of this race. Oh God, I'm starting to do that thing where I'm just drifting everywhere. I kind of did this in Dover. Or was it New Hampshire? I'm not getting dumped by you again. Oh, there it is, 85%. All right, we're we're missing some percent. And the tires are fit yellow. Yeah, understandable. All right, I I think I just gotta come in. I I'm not gonna be able to make it on fuel. We know that. These guys seem to be way quicker than I am, so it looks like I'm gonna go next time by because I can't make it there this time. I mean, this, at this point, I'm just losing time. I've already lost four seconds. Uh, to uh, whoever's running second at the moment, make that about five. But then I'll have the tire advantage for the rest of the race. Uh, I guess I'll just, you know, we'll try to make up the time we can, but hopefully we don't lose too much time. I don't know how it's gonna play out, and I'm a little scared for it, but. All right, go by, damn it. I'm trying to pit. Hand out the window. We're gonna have to send it off into pit road. I don't know what the speed is. What the? 
Okay, I don't know what the pit road speed is. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. Replace tires, repair damage. I mean, is it gonna give me a new splitter? I don't think it is, so the hell of it. Full of fuel. Okay. All right, let's, let's watch me lose my spots here. Uh, can we watch this? Okay, yeah, this is helpful. All right, there goes the leaders. Yum, 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 right there. Paul Menard! I think that's what that says. Ugh. All right, well, as long as I come out before the last dot comes around here. <laughs> it's not looking so good right now. Come on. 25. I told you to take about 26 seconds, but I got it. it. Took about 26 seconds to pit my damn car. All right. Oh, my God. I'm not... I'm going to be last. Just don't pull out in front of anybody. Not last. Sweet. Holy shit, are we far behind. But at least I'm not last, I guess, so. Excellent job, pit crew. Excellent job. Heart and soul, everybody. Heart and soul. Appreciate it. Ha! I... How long would it have been to fix my damage? Because I took damage all to save time. And it was still like 26 seconds. How the fuck? I mean, the odds are not in our favor. Not only because we have a one-star car, but apparently we've got like a zero-star pit crew. We just go to the track every week, and the first five fans we see here, here's hot passes. Come, come pit for us, please. Well, this is gonna be full sand to get up through here. I know I'm faster than some of these scrubs up in front of me. Oh, one car hitting pit road. Uh, that's a spot. P40. Holy shit, I just found out I can do that! Huh. I don't know why I didn't try that. Wow, look at this! Oh man, look how bad that is! <laughs> oh man, wow. Well, it took me a minute, but I finally caught some other people. I do appreciate poor Truex, man. I killed him. I appreciate him running like shit. Because he's got damage to his car. That's kind of cool. God, only 10 laps to go, man. I, lo I mean, I lost time staying out, but... Man... The pro the real problem with it is, is that... Our pit crew is like just 10 seconds slower than what they should be. Well, that was a twofer. Sweet, P38. What did you just say about having my back in the pits? Is that... Did you, did you just say that? Have you checked on our pit crew lately? Whoa! Man, this is rough. All these guys are so strung out back here. I'm barely gonna get to this group of three here. And that's pretty much gonna be the race. Drex still up my ass. I'm, I'm getting that slidey part. It looks like it's Jimmy Johnson in front of me. But, uh... It's gonna be a tough day for our, uh... For our crew here. For our, uh... Efforts. And the, uh... <laughs> Chase for the Scrub Cup, see that's a non edition. But it is it is the Scrub Cup, so finishes like this are gonna happen for everybody. And I think they already have happened for just about everybody. So nothing to worry about. It's still really early in the chase. So I'm not I'm not really sweating it just yet. And we can still get a couple spots here. Every spot matters. These are going to be some valuable points. Everything we can get here is going to be very important. we got to make sure we don't cause a caution. At this point, it's like, you know, we wouldn't have enough time to gain any of the spots back on the restart because we're just, we can't restart, so. And JJ Yaley, we're kind of racing against him, sort of kind of not really. He's taking the last of the points, but, I mean, you never know. Oh, no. Man, I just, fuck. That's going to be the last spot I get. If I, fuck. Damn it, it's tight. I went off in there and the thing just shoved. Damn it, I'm sorry. That's exactly what I did at Dover, trying to push it, trying to. All right, I'm just gonna try not to lose any spots here. Just go.
Come on, damn it! Fourth gear! Quit spinning! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can hold on to 38th. I think that's kind of bullshit. JJ Yaley got a spot back. I don't agree with that. I mean, I dumped him, I know, but he wouldn't get it back IRL. Alright, white flag. Damn it. I mean, I could have got, like, probably two more spots. But. I don't think it really would have mattered. It was... All right, what did we learn today? That's the biggest thing. We had pretty good speed here, and I fucked myself with that Kevin Harvick deal, trying not to put it in the wall. That was my own fault. But, you know, we made some adjustments. We repaired the car, and we still had speed the car. And it was, it was shown a couple of times. But our pit crew, we're just going to have to not take any tires the entire season, I think. The entire rest of it. 26 seconds, 22 seconds. Oh, my God. <laughs> Falling hard with the win. Clint Boyer finished second. That's big. All righty, so look at the race results here, so... Paul Menard with the win, led 17 laps. Clint Boyer led the most laps, so that's going to help him out there. Them, them 10 bonus points, man. He came on with the second place finish. Travis Quapple from 35th to 3rd. What a run. Tony Stewart. So we'll take a look at some of these other guys here. Kyle Petty with another top 10. Sam Hornish 11th. Marcus Ambrose 12th. Regan Smith 14th. So a lot of these guys actually had pretty solid runs, unlike us. I mean... Obviously, there's some other guys back here that uh, didn't have some great runs. Almendinger finished 26th. David Reagan, 27th. J.J. Yaley finished 34th after I dumped him. David Rudiman, 37th, right there in front of us, and us, 38th. Uh, the only two guys, man, look at Ganassi. 42nd and 43rd, both Scrub Cup competitors. Dario actually DNF'd, so um, there you have it. There is uh, your finishing results. There you go. Now we're, uh, oh god, that was not a good race for us. Um, that really hurts. We fall all the way to seventh. And Regan Smith, your points leader now. Kyle Petty, P2. Clint Boyer moves up to third with his second place finish. David Reagan loses the points lead again. Marcus Ambrose up a spot to P5. Honestly, we were the, we were the biggest loser today. Fell all the way back to seventh. That was a tough race from driver to crew chief to, <laughs> to pit crew. Dario, man, yeah, Dario's pretty much out of it at this point. JJ, yeah, yeah, we can start crossing people out. So we're going to have to get up on it next week. That's for damn sure. Well, that'll do it. Once again, not a pretty day for us. But I think we go on Auto Club next, if I remember correctly. So that'll do it. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was... Uh, I mean, we had our ups and downs, mostly downs, but uh, the be the most important thing is we showed speed. I made mistakes. Our pit crew made very big mistakes, but so it goes. We're not totally out of it yet. We still got a lot of races left. With that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you later. Go the other fucking fuck! Oh, mother fucking wood. Oh my god, one one is flipped. What the shit? Oh <laughs> look out! Problems! Problems, man, we've got a problem.